Hey, this is Steven Silva and welcome to Art Talk here. It's a name, I'm gonna come up with Art Talk just so that we can talk here. Um, so what I wanted to uh, talk about today was, um, oh, it's actually funny. So um, just recently I'd written a book, um, just been a lot of my thoughts, Conquering the Art of Struggle. And someone said, you know, why is your picture? You don't look so, um, you know, excited, you know, through that. But the only reason I have this picture partially is because my daughter, uh, 10 year old daughter took the picture. So that's why it's there. But what that picture sort of represented too was what I wanted to discuss today was um, I'm in thought. And someone said, surely, you know, you gotta have struggles um, as an artist and you do. And the thing is I've gone through a lot of the things we go through. I started professionally when I was 18 years old uh, drawing caricatures. So I've gone through just a lot of, God, so many different scenarios in my life. So I've been on such a journey in so many ways and started so many things and things have happened and things haven't happened. And it's just been just a, a, a life of excitement and a life of trial and error, but a life of growth. And I've always had, I don't know where, where it comes from, why, why I'm like this, but I just, I've mentioned it before. I don't believe in failure. I think everything is a lesson uh, learned in life. Um, and you just move on and you and, and you have fun because in, in my mind, my own creative weird mind, it's almost like John Lennon said, nothing is real. And, and it's almost true. It's like nothing is real. It's just like it is what it is and you experience it. And, you know, here we are, the third rock from the sun floating in the middle of space. And, you know, how cool is that? So it's just try everything, do everything. That's my mindset. But where the artists struggle is something that I would say that I still have and contend with and is is the balance. I think my mind is so, it, it's, it's like a popcorn popper in a sense. It's just my mind, I just firing with ideas. I have so many ideas. I have so many things I want to try and so many things I want to do. And the thing that I'm, I'm happy about is a lot of times my thoughts, they do become things. I create these things. I start these things. I make them happen. I do it but I have so many more. And then the only struggle within that mindset is there's so many things I want to do, but how do you balance that with say having kids and, and, and life and wife and family? And, and that's the big thing where I would love in my mind, I, I think I would, you know, or I just want to, oh, oh God, I, I want to act on that. I want to do that. And, oh, but, but whoa, whoa, whoa. And, so, so many times I, I got, the only struggle that I think I face is I got to constantly pull down the reins from, you know, for myself. I got to constantly pull back. It's like, pull, whoa, horsey, slow it down. And, and in a good way. So I think that's the biggest thing that I would say that I go through. And you say, well, how do you overcome that? And I don't think you do. My mind goes through these different phases where some days I get like, and say, oh my, oh, I want to start this today. Oh, I want to do that. And then, oh, and then I go, it's all up here. And, and I'm going, I'm going. And then, whew, okay, got to slow it down. Got to pull it back. But what happens is now, you know, I constantly create these triggers in my head. So I'm telling myself I have to slow. I got to slow it down. I got to pull it back. And so those are the things I do. And then for another day or two weeks, everything's cool. I've, I've figured out my project that I'm going to do. And I start working and then, oh, and then again, then I want to work on something again. And then it's just like, so those are the constant fires that happen. So if I would say that's a struggle, yeah, okay, let's say that's a struggle. But the reality is it's not so much a struggle as it is just life as an artist and as a creative person, no matter what form of creativity you do, if you're a writer, you know, a painter, a dancer, a musician, you're probably all experiencing and go through that and go, God, but there's so many things I wanna do. And, and I do realize that, hey, you do what you can. You cross that bridge when you get to it. And I know that, and I know it, and it's still, um, it's gonna happen. So you have to just let that be a part of just life and uh, just enjoy, that what it is that you are doing at that moment um, and just you just kind of have really have, have fun with it and not worry about it again it comes so much into the thing that I've said is forget about the future because it just doesn't exist it, it, it doesn't matter you set your goals you set your your tasks you want to do and you write that down and you accomplish it one by one and that's what I do even though the fire keeps like the, the ideas keep popping but that's why I just write them down I do write them down and and 
now even more so. I mean, right, you guys can't see it, but I've sort of written up on here just my own uh, my own task and I only try to set like about three tasks, four tasks, big ones at a time. So um, once I establish those big tasks that I want to get, you know, that's my main focus and everything else sort of fills in between the gaps and the cracks, right? You know, it's just like putting filler, you know, in between. Um, and then of course the balance for me, what's so important is to, uh, you know, just make sure that I'm seeing my kids and family all the time. And you know, I, I'm, I'm very fortunate to work from home, but I'm very fortunate that I work from home because that's what I set out to do. That was one of my desires. It wasn't to keep working in a, in a studio and keep working for other people and start doing my own thing. So again, it's, it's the creation of it. And that's what's come from all the stuff that I've done is, is building upon the creation and letting that just sort of manifest, letting it just happen, letting it evolve. Um, and that's it. All right. So, uh, that's the, that's the little art talk, uh, for today. Um, thanks for watching and, um, that's it for right now. Okay. And I'll uh, see you soon.